Hi, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com. Today I'm going to show you how to fix a leaking Delta kitchen faucet. If you purchased the Delta faucet for your home and you still own the home, the first thing you should do is to call Delta. They guarantee their faucets for life and will send you the repair parts for free. If you need to purchase the repair parts, I'll put links in my video description for the most common Delta repair kits. I strongly recommend buying only Delta original equipment parts. Once you have secured the proper repair kit for your leaking Delta faucet, the first thing to do is to turn off the shutoff valves which are located underneath the sink. Then make sure that your drains are plugged up or covered. You don't want any small parts accidentally going down your drain. With the water off, turn the faucet to the on position. This is a double check to make sure that your water is off. Use a 1 8 inch hex head wrench to remove the set screw in the handle. Put the set screw in a parts bowl to ensure that you will not lose it. At this point the handle should come right off. However, this handle was badly corroded and it greatly resisted coming off. I sprayed WD-40 underneath the handle and into the set screw hole and tapped the handle. Finally, the handle came off. Use a large adjustable wrench to remove the cap assembly. Avoid using pliers with sharp teeth so that you don't damage the faucet. The first part you will see is called the cam assembly. Remove the cam assembly and put it in your parts bowl. Now remove the ball assembly and inspect for wear. This ball has a worn spot. You can tell when you run your finger over the ball. It will feel like a rough spot and the worn spot will not be shiny like the rest of the ball. This ball assembly will need to be replaced. Remove the spout assembly from the valve body. Now remove the seats and springs. I like to use a narrow one quarter inch screwdriver to remove them. Notice that the larger portion of the spring goes into the valve body and the narrower portion of the spring goes into the seat. Remove the other seat and spring in the same way. Once again, the smaller portion goes into the seat. Scrape and clean all corrosion from the faucet body. Remove the spout o-ring. That's the one that goes on the bottom of the spout. Remove the upper o-ring on the outside of the valve body, then remove the lower o-ring. A small screwdriver or a dental pick type tool will work just fine for this task. Clean any corrosion from the spout supply hole and clean the valve body. Install the new lower o-ring. Make sure it seats in its provided groove. Install the upper o-ring and make sure it seats in its provided groove. This is Rector Seal plumber's grease. Put a little plumber's grease on both the lower o-ring and the upper o-ring. Place a spring with the large end down and the small end going into the seat. Place this assembly on a quarter inch screwdriver or a dental pick type of tool. Lat the spring and seat slide down the screwdriver and into the valve body. Push the spring and seat into the valve body. You will hear a little click when they seat properly. Use the same procedure on the other side. Push the spring and seat into the valve body until you hear a little click. Put a little plumber's grease on the seats. I'll also put a little where the corrosion was on the valve body. This is the new ball assembly. Put a little plumber's grease where the wear was on the old ball. 
Notice that there is a slot on the new ball that matches a nub on the valve body. Make sure that the nub sits in the slot of the ball assembly. This is the new cam assembly. Make sure that the nub on the cam assembly goes into the notch on the valve body. Push in the cam assembly. Clean the inside of the spout. Apply a little plumber's grease where the O-rings will hit. Put plumber's grease on the bottom lip of the spout. Now place the spout O-ring in the lip. Put a little more plumber's grease over the spout O-ring. Install the spout assembly. Install the cap assembly. Use a large adjustable wrench to tighten the cap assembly. It is important to tighten it good and snug, but don't over tighten it. Apply plumber's grease on the inside of the handle where the ball stem attaches. Install the handle. Apply plumber's grease to the threads of the set screw. Tighten the set screw with an 1 8 inch hex wrench. Remove the aerator. Usually you can take them off with your fingers, but due to corrosion I will need to gently use my adjustable pliers to get the aerator to start to come off. Screw the aerator off and inspect it. Notice that this one has a lot of sediment inside of it. Now turn the water back on underneath the sink. Check to make sure that you don't have a leak. Turn on the water to both hot and cold and let it run a while. This helps to clean out the line. Hi, how you doing? Good, how's it going? Oh, fine, thanks. Good. Just got it all back together. Oh, good. After cleaning your aerator and reinstalling it, turn the water on and then off and make sure that it doesn't leak. Congratulations! Your faucet works like new again. I would like to make a suggestion for people who have problems with corrosion in the plumbing of their houses. That would be the AquaPure hot water system protector. It binds calcium, magnesium, and other minerals and prevents the minerals from building up on metallic surfaces. Basically, the system helps your faucets dishwashers, washers, etc. to last longer because it greatly reduces the mineral buildups in them. I'll put an Amazon.com link in my video description for it. Also, I'll put a link for Rector Seal Plumber's Grease. If you use it, your repairs should last longer and it won't be such a struggle for the next guy who takes apart the faucet or valve, etc. And remember, that next guy might be you. So do yourself a favor and use plumber's grease. And I'll put links for two kinds of Delta repair kits for kitchen faucets. Thank you. I hope this video was helpful.